Hey guys, it's Maris, and today we're gonna do the name reveal for Harpy. I want to thank everybody who participated and submitted a name. It was really touching and there are some really beautiful, thoughtful names that you guys sent in. I am really interested to see like what she gets what she gets baptized with today. She will have this name for the rest of her life and that is what she will be known for, so it's gonna be really, really cool. I also wanted to talk about that I just reached 100 subscribers and that's really exciting for me. I know it's pretty small in the whole scheme of things, but that's still pretty exciting. And it's given me the inspiration and the drive to just keep making videos, to keep reading, to keep making puppets, to keep exploring books in like all the different creative ways that I can. So not just reading or not just making puppets, but you know, maybe making other things too. Doing the videos allows me to explore so many creative outlets that I don't think I really would have pursued. Like, I never really had an interest in making puppets. I had a very fun excuse to make her and I've just realized that I really like making puppets in general now. Like, I'm not sure how many I will make or if I will do it forever, but I'm really interested in exploring this and I'm combining my love of books and characters and, and, and stuff like that. So that is, this is giving me a lot of joy. So thank you. I thought I would just share really quickly like my process with with the Harvey and some of my mistakes. <laughs> um, she is only made of a very few materials. I bought some cheap clay at a store for like two euros a piece. Um, it's not polymer clay, it's just regular clay. So uh, it was my first time really working with that. Uh, she's also filled with aluminum foil, yarn on her feet, just more wire. Her her very, very basic aperture is made from wire as well, and paper. That's basically all that she's made out of. And I really winged it. She is very off balance. Her head is really, really heavy. And it's heavier on one side because I put more hair on, on the side of her head. So her face is always sort of swinging that way. Also, her little bird body is not even and it's not symmetrical either and I it just didn't dawn on me that it needs to have this perfect center of gravity to work better. I can move her the way I want but it's it's a little wonky. I think the coolest thing that I learned was this. This wrapping yarn around the wire for the legs. I watched a YouTube video of a woman who was making these really really beautiful bird feet and she used this method except she also put on some type of wax, which I didn't do. I was struggling so hard with these feet. And when I watched her video, I was like, oh, okay, I can try that. And it came out really, really cool. Way better than I anticipated, let me tell you. One of my favorite things I made was her little book belt here, which is just made from paper. And this is a piece of wood with a book image painted on there or printed on there and then I just painted it with some gold inlay. So I really like that. It's just, it adds to her character. I think it gives her a quality of some sort, like why is she carrying a book even though she has no arms to read it, but she has her feet in theory. Yeah. The wings were something that I just sketched out and made a template from and I do have them weighted with a little counterweight of a little scent coin in the back but her wings are made from the same wire and they move a lot because they're very soft so they're constantly just moving around all over the place in the future when i keep making puppets i'm going to look back on this and be like wow this is so bad <laughs> i had a lot of fun obviously like just 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 so much fun just so much fun in making these little things and i'm a huge fan of the quay brothers and young swankmeyer so there's something about these sort of grotesque puppets. Like, I don't think that she's gross or creepy or disgusting or anything, but there's a bit of grotesqueness in the way they move because it's so unnatural. But I really like that, and I like that quality. And even though I don't think I would ever get into stop motion films or anything like that because it's a lot of work, this kind of gives you a little bit of that feel, and that was what I was going for a bit. 
I'm also making a new puppet based and inspired by the Rust Maidens from Gwendolyn Kiss. I love this image of these women who are turning into steel and cement um, and metal and all, all of these other type of industrial elements and I really just, I just want to make that so bad. So I'm starting that. I am using a new clay, it's polymer clay and um, that is a... Uh, that is a mystery to me. Big learning curve for this. So I'm struggling a bit on that. I'm hoping to overcome that. So I'm looking forward to that moment. The time has come to speak of many things, but let's get to the naming of Harpy. I wanted to make sure that it was random the way that we picked the name. I made this spinny boy right here. He is pretty basic, just a bunch of numbers. Our Harpy's gonna spin gonna give us a number like 10 and then you would take out 10 names from the jar and the 10th one will be our winner so I think that that's gonna be I think that's gonna work pretty well there is however one wild card because two people submitted the same set of names so if we get that one there's another spin to determine which of those three names we'll get so it's pretty exciting there's a wild card in there let's see what happens okay Are you ready? Ten! <laughs> That's a good number. So we need to pull out ten names from the TBR jar and find out what har our Harpy's name is going to be. This is pretty exciting. Okay, so. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's Lilith! <laughs> That's so cool! It's perfect. I mean, Lilith is definitely a perfect name for her. She is a goth moth. I mean, Lilith is a perfect name, and this was submitted by Moon Rabbit Curios. You do look like a Lilith, you know that, right? She hangs out in cemeteries and reads books, I assume, perched on gravestones. I just totally see it. Thank you guys so much for playing along with me and submitting names. This is so fun. And it's something that, you know, she'll have this name forever, so it'll be one of those special things. I know, is that like pigeon head? <laughs> Our Harpy now has a name. It's perfect. And I just had so much fun. I hope you guys have a really great week. Everything is going well for you. And I'll talk to you next time.